Now you hear me talking all the time about loving yourself, but how in the hell do we actually do it? Step one in loving yourself is stop all criticism. Stop 100% of it. We need to understand that in a day, we are the most influential people that we'll talk to. And every single thought that we think is either building us up or it's beating us up. And we have to make that decision every single day every single opportunity that we talk to ourselves. We need to learn to be our own best friends because a best friend would never criticize somebody when they failed. And if we're really trying hard at something and we make a mistake, that is when we need to show up as our own biggest cheerleader and say, you know what, you did a hell of a job. You tried so hard. I am so proud of you. Now let's try again. It's not a time to tell yourself that you're stupid or you can't believe you made the same mistake again. Now step two is stop all comparisons. Comparing is the thief of joy. You might think you're doing so great and you're so happy. Say you've got a New Year's resolution to lose some weight and you're looking in the mirror and you're thinking, I look amazing, I'm so proud of myself. And then you look down at Susie down the road and she looks a little bit better and now you feel like you suck again. And it's so important to just Focus on you because that's the only thing you can control and that's what's really going to make you feel better. We just need to stop comparing because you know what? We are one of a kind. We are totally unique and nobody else can compare to us. Number three is simply making the choice today that you are good enough, that you are deserving of that self-love. Not because you have these great achievements or because you've done this or that, just because you are you. You are lovable on your worst day. Who is more deserving of our love than us? If you were making a list of all the things that you love, when would you remember to put yourself on that list? It is so important that we love ourselves and I truly believe that that is the whole reason why we are on this planet. I think that life is about going through the ups and downs of life, falling on our faces, getting back up, trying again, and finding a way to love ourselves throughout that process. For 10 steps to beat stress and feel your best, check out my book, Confessions of an ex hot Mess. I've also got a free ebook and a guided meditation if you click down below. For last week's video blog, click up here, check it out. And while you're at it, click down here and subscribe.